one of those bosses that off campus, really nice, but then you get to work and it's balls to the wall, not cutting corners, very aggressive. Mm, especially in that kind of an environment. Absolutely. It's classic. It's just, a, you know, one, one outfit rents a rig, one outfit is the rig that gets rented. So when you're the head of it, when you're the offshore installation manager and you're responsible for all of it, yeah, you take it very seriously. And uh, this man had, I found the incredible irony of this for, for uh, Mr. Jimmy, um, that he was known throughout the industry as a guy who was incredibly safe, took care of his crew, was very concerned about it, and had just received his seventh in a row, seventh year in a row of, of being, you know, safety conscious, safety minded. And for, of all people for this to happen on his watch, of course it was yeah. him. Heartbreaking. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. it's just, just, it's beyond irony. How challenging was it to work with Mike and how far you wanted to push him to get specific details about what happened? Because to ask somebody to relive a traumatic event like that has got to be a daunting task. Yeah, you know? certainly I was I was prepared to you know approach it with white gloves and he was just like, look dude, I lived it for real. I don't mind talking about it. You know, this is easy. Um, and so he was, he was an open book. What were the challenges taking that on as a, a character so young in such a devastating situation? Well, I mean, at 23, I was getting out of NYU, acting a damn fool, running around at New yeah. York City. <laughs> there was no way I could have compared them. Um, but what I can say is that everything I had learned on Jane, I almost had to like throw out in order to right. do Deepwater Horizon, which was really good training. Absolutely. And, and you're surrounded by monsters, so it was like a master class. I mean, you have John Malkovich <laughs> there, and the whole time you're just like, I'm not gonna speak. I talked to Felicia about her constitution, like what kind of woman is she? Was she did she fall under pressure? Or was she someone who was like in, you know, survival mode? And she's more of a survival mode type. And so you just sort of go into this thing where it's, you know, and you want it to be impactful because we're, you know, making a film. And you want it to feel like, my my world could be crumbling right now, but I have to think about that. Now your your dad plays a boss in this film. He is a boss. Yeah, is he a boss? <laughs> Do you think he'd make a good boss? Like, yeah, well, he's a he's a good boss of our family. Yeah. You know, being the sort of patriarch of our family. I know he's done pretty good. Yes, I love him. I love Kurt Russell. He is everything and more. Everything and more. I don't know. I don't know. He, he acts like he'd be cool, but I don't know. I think he'd jump run you into the ground. Yeah. Nice. He's a bit of a taskmaster. Well, so what do you think the consensus was? Do you think people know. were on board with you as a boss? I don't know. I don't know if I'd... I'm an actor. I, there's a reason I chose to be an actor. <laughs> I don't have to be the boss. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the boss type guy.